Hello and welcome to my AI race tutorial. First, we find a spot for our race. Open the editor with the F11 key. If your interface is too small like this, you can go into the edit and then user preferences, then go to user interface and adjust the scale here. You can also adjust the size of your docked windows. First we need to make a new mission in the mission editor. If no missions are showing you can adjust your filter settings like this to make them visible. We name our mission and we select AI race from the mission type list. Then we place our start trigger where we want. Here you can add words to the start and the end screens of the race. If you select Smart Start Placement, this will allow you to have different amounts of AI and make sure that the player is always placed at the back of the grid with no gaps. And here are the other parts we can configure for the race later on. Remember to save your mission frequently. Next we need to make the race path. You can learn about race path basics in my time trial tutorial that will be linked in the description. When placing your path nodes be wary of placing them on top of static objects like this. Be sure to place the path nodes in places that encourage the player and the AI to stay on the course that you intend them to. Remember to add the last segment if it's a closed loop circuit. Then we place the start positions for the amount of AI you want to run and one spot for the player. In this case I want 5 AI and one player, so I'll place 6 spots. Now we change the name of the spots to racer start 1 to the number that we have. Uh, this allows the uh, smart race positioning to work properly. You can click the down to terrain then align with terrain buttons to make sure the spots are flat on the ground. Now we can sort the track layout. We add just the start node since this is a closed circuit. If this was end to end then you would add the last node as our end node. Default stars in position must be one of the racer start positions. Now if we click the preferences tab on the race path editor and click show AI route this will show us whether the AI understands the route that we've asked from them or not. This would be a good way to debug the route if it's not working properly. Now we need to save our race path. We save into the mission folder which can be found in gameplay from the route folder, missions, the level name, the mission type, in this case it's AI race, and then our mission name. In that folder we'll save our race path as race. You can add this folder to your favourites at the top of the window. Now we go back to the mission editor and under our mission, assign the race path manually. Here we can assign the provided vehicle for the player. can tick here to allow the player to choose to use the provided car or their own. Now we're going to make the vehicle group for this race. This is where we choose what cars could possibly enter the race as AI cars. Open the vehicle group manager from the window gameplay menu. Click new group. Select a vehicle and then use the arrow to scroll to the next slot. Add all the potential opponents that you would want for the race. Then we click File and click Export. 
Find your mission folder and save it there with the name Racers. You should then see the vehicle group is ticked in your mission. Next up is the prefab. This is used to add decoration and obstacles to your race. You can refer to my time trial tutorial for more info on prefabs. The only difference with AI races is that you have to save the prefab with the name Deco and there are no reverse or forward prefabs. Add a new sim group folder and put your prefab items inside, then right click and select pack prefab. This is where you would call it deco. If you're trying to make a race somewhere where there are no AI roads on the level, you will have to lay a road yourself and add it to the deco prefab. Make sure you change the drivability from minus one to one, and you can change the material there as well. If you want it to be invisible, type inv, INV in the material filter and you should find invisible road. So let's see how it works. 